Hey, 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 Royal fans, I'm your host Sheldon Moon, and today's headline. Jessica Hayes and Scott Jones discuss the current selection of favourite names for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's daughter. Leading the way is Philippa, which would serve as a touching tribute to the Duke's late grandfather, Prince Philip, who died last month. But Miss Hayes highlighted a key reason why she does now think the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would select that name. Mr. Jones said, let the royal name guessing game begin. Ms. Hay stated, some of the most popular names for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle soon to be baby girl. The couple is expecting their second child sometime this summer. Some of the popular picks include family names such as Elizabeth and Diana. But topping the leaderboard is Philippa, rising in, Harry, in his popularity following the death of Prince Harry's grandfather, Prince Philip. Some other fan favourites include Algera, Alexandria and Grace. Mr. Jones replied, I think Philippa, that is my bet. Ms. Hayes added, well, I question that one because it is also the name of Kate Middleton's sister, Pippa. According to the list, Queen Elizabeth II was forced to follow strict royal family traditions and restrictions when naming her children. Queen Elizabeth has not experienced complete freedom in picking names for her children, as Her Majesty's choices would have been guided by previous royal family names. The list reports... The royal family names must pay tribute to history while also remaining fashionable. The online magazine stated, The joy of choosing a baby name is one of the most fun parts about bringing a child into the world. Sadly, Queen Elizabeth has never had the freedom to name her children as most people have. The Queen is mother to four children, Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward. And while she probably had some say in her child's names, there are a number of traditions and restrictions that likely guided her decisions. Indeed, royal baby names are a pretty serious business. They have to both acknowledge history by paying respects to relatives while also being fashionable. The complexities of naming a royal baby don't stop with the first name either, as most royal tots end up with a number of middle names, each paying homage to various relatives. Seems to me like nothing in the royal family is easy. Hey, what do you guys think of today's installment? Did you enjoy the content? Let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe for more. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow and goodbye for now.